First question is from Eden Mass. What is your opinion on gymnastic rings? Mm. Love them. Yeah. Absolutely love them. They're great tools for body weight strengthening exercises. Really, they are uh they were they're like suspension trainers before suspension trainers mm -hmm. were ever invented. Um the stability, the balance, the angles that you can use. The thing about rings and things like suspension trainers that I love the most is if you know how to utilize them properly and you set them up in a particular way, they are appropriate for anybody. They're appropriate for super beginners because you can change the leverage and the angles to make exercises really easy. Or if you're super advanced, and I don't care how strong you are, how advanced you are, you can use rings or suspension trainers to challenge your body to build muscle get stronger, build stability. So they're, they're extremely versatile pieces of equipment. I've used uh, a few different versions of the suspension trainers. I kind of got into it, uh, doing it for the entire year. And I would say that, that the rings are probably the most advanced version uh, that you could use for suspension training. What's cool about it is they've actually taken it you know, because you used to only be able to do Olympic rings that were hanging down from the ceiling uh, from these gymnastic centers. And that was like your only option to get exposed to them. And then somebody, you know, had the brilliant idea to make, you know, them straps, independent straps. And then you could kind of tighten them up and raise them up and, and lower them down and hang them off of things. And what's cool about them is so they're, they're independent of each other. And so that, that's really where a lot of the extra challenge comes because uh, with these other types of suspension trainers, there's one central uh, part of it that has like two different straps that are still attached to the same thing, which gives you just a little bit more stability than two independent ones. Oh, so that's the difference between the rings and it's just, I thought they both had that. So they don't have that. Well, because it only allows for so much uh, slack with with like a suspension trainer like a TRX or like why like one of those types where uh like it it it's only it gives you about like a two inch kind of slack. So Yeah, you, no, I'm familiar move. I'm familiar with the suspension trainer, but I didn't I thought I just assume that it's exactly the same, but with rings for the rings it's not. They're actually they're, independent. They're both independent. Oh yeah, they're both independent. So you could you could set them up as wide as oh. you want or narrow as oh. you want. Oh much more challenging because then they're they're uh, yeah, because they're gonna get away from you. Oh, wow. So you have to really overly stabilize and really like really gain access to your core and control. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a kick-ass workout. Like it's something that I, I actually worked my way up to doing moves with that, where you're going upside down, like skin the cat, like you're doing uh, these, these types of like progressive moves where it's really challenging your shoulder mobility, uh, your, your core strength and just overall abilities to uh, isometrically hold poses. So it's it's super challenging. I don't know why it's it's uh, totally slipped my mind. What's the name of the exercise where you pull yourself up and then press yourself? Uh, muscle up. Muscle up. Yeah. That's a that is a great. If you're advanced uh, and you've got good stability and mobility in your shoulders. So strict muscle up. Strict. Right? Yeah. So like there's ways to kind of cheat your way with momentum and kind of throw yourself up to keep crossfit your way through life. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we, I learned uh, at this one from a gymnastic coach, how to do that uh, in that trans it's a transitionary move, uh, which then sets you up for like the iron cross or something. Exactly. Yeah, talk about, like talk about a full bot, full upper body exercise. You're yeah. pulling uh -huh. and then you train and then you, you move into pushing. So it's like biceps, uh, you know, back, forearms, then it moves in shoulders, Tricep. uh, triceps, chest. Yeah. What a great exercise. It's a great goal for somebody oh, who yeah. is advanced. Front levers, uh, with this one called like ice cream scooper, like where you're like upside down and kind of like rocking. Dude, there's some crazy creative moves out there to do with these things that are like, will test your body to the limits. Yeah. Dips on that is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, that's dip, the best. Yeah, dips on that, uh, it shits all over regular bar dips, yeah. just in terms of how they feel. Mm-hmm.